Hello everyone, you're welcome back to Oti's Culture. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Oti. I create content on sewing tutorials and turban cap. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys on how I made this rich anti-vibes look booboo -boo with Asho K design. It is very easy to make. Um because of copyright i had to edit the music on the background i'm actually dancing to a music but because of copyright i had to edit it so without further ado let's quickly move right to the tutorial i folded my fabric into four as you can see i'm using african print i'm cutting the front and the back bodies together and this is ashoke fabric like i said earlier the ashoke that i'm using does not have joining this is the type that doesn't have joining i actually went to people that normally produce ashoke to purchase directly from them i didn't buy it from the market so when you purchase ashoke directly from them you'll be able to get this full ashoke without joining but if you have the type that has joining it will still do the same thing it's doesn't really matter but i prefer ashoke without joining this is my starting line i've already ruled my starting line at my starting line i'm going to impute neck width of four inches that's four inches neck width neck depth for the back i'm going to measure one inch neck depth for the front the front neckline is going to be v so it's going to be 10 inches feel free to use any neck depth of your choice but i always like my v-neck to come down to be lower not to the extent that to show my cleavage but i always like it to come down so that's why i'm using neck depth for the front as 10 inches but you can make use of between 8 to 7 inches if you don't actually want yours to come down like mine then I'm connecting the back necklines. From my center back, I'm going to measure 21 inches. That's where I want my sleeve to stop around my elbow area, 21 inches. From the 21 inches, I'm going to measure down 2 inches like so for my shoulder slope, 2 inches. Then from that 2 inches, I'm going to connect it to the neck width for my shoulder slope. From the 2 inches, I'm going to measure 12 inches for my sleeve opening. If you don't want yours to be as wide as this, you can use between 9 to 10 inches. But I really want my sleeve opening to be wide. That is how I like it. Then from my shoulder to my waist is 17 inches. From my shoulder to my hip line is 25 inches. At my waistline, I'm going to impute my waist measurement divided by 4, which is 10.5. My waist measurement divided by 4 is 10.5. Then I'm going to add seam allowance of 4 inches. Feel free to add as much as you want i want mine to be four inches seam allowance four inches you can make use of three inches between three inches to six inches then moving to my hip line i imputed my hip measurement divided by four plus four inches 
sin allowance. I always like to use four inches. I don't like it to, to be too big on me because I'm already on the big side. Then the same measurement I have at my hip line, I'm going to impute that same measurement to the lower part of my dress. I'm going to roll my sleeve opening then from the sleeve opening I'm going to roll inward like so then I'm going to curve from my waist to the sleeve I'm going to give it a nice curve at that area give it a nice curve like so then from my waist I'm going to connect it to the hip then from my hip line I'm going to connect it straight to the lower parts of the dress I imputed my hip measurement plus the seam allowance at the mid area in order to help me get a straight line so I connect it from the hip line straight to the lower part of the dress this bubble is very easy it doesn't take me plus cutting and sewing up to one hour so before i'm going to cut it out i'm going to add half an inch seam allowance to the shoulder So the next thing to do is to cut it out. I'm cutting the back neckline first, the shoulder slope, the sleeve opening, I'm cutting from the lower part through to upper part. Like so. My showcase folded into two. From the lower part, I'm going to measure 20 inches upward. That's 20 inches. I'm going to mark it and cut it out. The 20 inches is not standard. That is how low I want the design in front to be. You can make use of any net of your choice. Then I'll take the front bodies, I'm going to fold it into two and make sure that the folded edge of the Ankara fabric and the Ashoke aligns together. Then I'm going to cut the necklines together. This is 
just like you are cutting facing for your neckline there is nothing too special about, about it then I'm going to remove the bodies and I'm going to cut out the shoulder slope after that I'm going to mark how wide I want the actual cage to be at the shoulder I'm cutting the shoulder slope right now then I'm going to measure how wide I want the actual cage to be then I will cut it out at this point you can create any design of your choice at this point I'm going to leave mine to be this shape you can decide to slant it you can decide to curve it at this point whichever design you want your actual key to have at this point that is when you will create the design so the wideness at the shoulder I want mine to be as wide as four inches so I'm marking four inches like so I'm just double checking from my shoulder measurement to know the measurement that I want because I don't want it to be up to my shoulder measurement. My shoulder measurement on fold is is nine inches. So I've already marked out four inches for the neck width. So I'm marking another four inches for the wideness of the ashoke. But I'm going to still sew half an inch at the neckline and also fold the ashoke at the edge so i'll be left with three inches so it's not up to my shoulder measurements then from that four inches i'm going to run a straight line and cut it out just like i said at this point you can decide to create any design of your choice We are through with the cutting so let's move to the sewing the sewing is very easy so i'm going to place the ashoke the right side of the ashoke facing the wrong side of the fabric then i'm going to take to my sewing machine i'm going to sew half an inch around the v after that i'm going to notch it and turn it to the right side to finish it up I'm also going to cut a showcase to end the sleeve opening and I'm also going to cut facing as well for the back neckline after that I will join the bodies by the side end the lower part and show us the final look the sewing part is very easy You can decide to add pockets to yours or not. If you don't know how to cut and sew in seam pockets, I'm going to put a detailed tutorial that I've made already. I'm going to put the link in the description box below. You will check it out on how to cut and sew in seam pockets to a dress. I've sewn the ashoke to the front and I've turned it to the right side of the front. Then I top stitch around the V shape. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fold in half an inch at the edges. I'm going to fold it half an inch like so. Then I'm going to top stitch on the dress. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side as well. If you don't want the ruffles at the lower part, you can trim it out and fold the edge at the lower parts with half an inch as well and top stitch on the dress 
but I'm going to leave the lower part like so. I'm just going to top stitch the lower part to hold it with the dress. The emphasis on this dress is the ashoke. At this stage, you can decide to even trim it to shape it anyhow you like. You can decide to slant it, you can decide to freestyle the design anyhow you like before top stitching to the front bodies. Then after that, I'm going to cut out ashoke. I'm going to use it to M the sleeve opening that is after joining the front and the back together i'm going to cut out ashoke to m the sleeve opening then i'm going to sew the sides sew the lower part and we are done thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you find this tutorial helpful and also subscribe to my channel for more content like this if you've not subscribed yet i'm going to quickly sew it and show us the final look this is the final look guys i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not done so i upload weekly tutorial on my channel also remember to click on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Until I come your way next, please stay safe and remain blessed. Love you all. Bye.